Tonight, Chabad of downtown San Diego is mourning one of their own after he was killed in a shooting in El Cajon at Smile Plus Dentistry. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. El Cajon police say the shooter is a disgruntled former patient. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes talked with police, neighbors, and a patient of that dentist office. She joins us now live with the very latest. Kirsten? Yeah, I'm here at the Smile Plus Dentistry in El Cajon on Magnolia Avenue, where just 24 hours ago, this was the scene of that deadly shooting. Again, you imagine having a shooting happen in the middle of rush hour traffic. So we talked to a patient who showed up at the dentist's office today, and he had no idea about the shooting that happened yesterday. Take a listen. Did anybody die? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this world. Oh my gosh, well now that I heard that, I, I didn't know there it was that kind of shooting. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a disappointment. I feel bad, I feel sorry for him. Jared Payne says he's in a lot of pain right now because he's been waiting for this appointment for at least three months. And he's not alone. There were a few patients who showed up today at the Smile Plus Dentistry in El Cajon for their appointments. The office is closed until further notice. One neighbor who didn't want to show his face on camera describes yesterday's horrific scene. I guess a gentleman was shot. Um, they were pumping his his chest. I guess he was bleeding to death. It didn't look like he was alive. And then I saw a couple women running down the street with kids in their arms. And uh, it was just a little, it's a little wild. Another neighbor says this is not who this community is. I'm working 30 years, never, never see anything. Sometimes it's a lot of, little bit fight or something, but not too big deal, you know. The suspect has been identified as 29-year-old Muhammad Abdul Kareem. He's from El Cajon, and police say he was seen leaving the scene in a white U-Haul pickup truck. At night, it's a, it's a little hectic, but not, nothing like this. That, that, that guy must have had that thing planned. El Cajon police say one person died at this scene. Two others, a man and a woman, were hurt, but they will be okay. The Chabad of downtown San Diego confirmed for CBS 8 that Dr. Benjamin Horoni is the victim who died in yesterday's shooting. El Cajon police still haven't released the identities of any of the victims, but they did release a statement on social media that says in part, quote, while we are still in the early stages of the investigation, we want to make it clear that there is no indication the attack was racially or politically motivated. It's tragic because, you know, we take a lot of things for granted in life and we don't realize that something like that can happen. Police say they captured their suspect around 9 o'clock last night, and when he was arrested, they found a loaded handgun and loaded handgun magazines on him. They also say records indicate that he just bought that gun two weeks before yesterday's shooting. His first court appearance is set for Tuesday. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Such a stunning thing to happen in your neighborhood and to see happen and to walk into that dentist office today. Kirsten, what have we learned about the victim here? Yeah, okay, so we received a statement from Dr. Benjamin Horoni's rabbi that says he was a beautiful, kind, and caring human being who recently graduated from dental school and just joined his family's practice here. The rabbi says he's asking everyone to please do positive acts of kindness in Benjamin's memory. They will have a memorial service or a service for Benjamin on Sunday. Carlo? What a terrible loss. Thanks, Kirsten.